Hey guys, what's up? It's time to get Swatch Fest poppin'. Thanks for coming to hang out with me this Saturday or Sunday or Monday, whenever it is you're stopping in. Um, Saturday, if you are new here, is the day that I put up Swatch Fest, where I swatch 10 random polishes from my stash that have not already been included in a collection review. So not in like a main collection, mainstream collection that I review the whole collection of. These are just random things that I picked up here or there. Some of them actually in this Swatch Fest were gifts. A lot of the times I shop places like Sally's, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, um, online. There's some stuff from, from random retailers online. There's some stuff from Walmart here. I just pick stuff up everywhere. And I had this, you know, these bins of polishes a while back. Like, uh, oh, it's all, it's been two years since I've been doing Swatch Fest on every single Saturday. So I'm still just, you know, keep on trucking. I actually got up a video every day this week for you guys. So I hope that you enjoyed that if you missed any of them. Make sure you look back through the week. We had quite a few things to look at, and we have a lot coming up this next week, too, which I'm going to let you know about um, a little bit further along in today's video. But yeah, Swatch Fizz is where we just swatch random polishes, so they're not going to be anything specific. And um, we're just going to have a little fun and chit chat about our weeks, and I always enjoy um, what you guys let me know in the comments about your week and what your A plus polish of the week. As always, um, on Saturdays, please enter my giveaway. I pick one of you at random every Saturday. You need to make sure that you're subscribed. And this is not an international giveaway, unfortunately, but I will pick one of you that comments that you would like to be entered for Mystery Grab Bag. And I will send you six random polishes from my stash. And it's just um, my way of getting kind of connected to you guys while de-stashing at the same time. So it's really fun for me. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So welcome to Swatch Fest. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start right at the top, which usually starts with red, but my red polish was actually my A plus polish of the week this week, so we can't start with red, sorry. Sorry all my red lovers out there. So I'm gonna stick something in here actually instead, which is always what I do. On Saturdays, I swatch nine polishes. I pick which one was my A plus polish of the week and then I put a polish in its spot. So this week I'm actually gonna put in one of these um, Models Own Chrome, Color Chrome polishes. Chrome color, Color Chrome. And I was actually sent the whole collection of these polishes by my friend Sue. Thank you so much, Sue, you're such a sweetheart. The lippy that I'm wearing is actually one that you sent me today as well, and I will let you guys know what that is in a little bit. Um, but this is an olive colored chrome, and I have never seen anything like this. It's called Olive. And I hadn't ever tried any models own polishes because I can't get my hands on them very easily here in the U.S. So thank you, Sue, for that. You're such a sweetheart. And um, yeah, this is really, really nice. Definitely strong chrome look on the nail. Definitely, you know, that liquid metal kind of look. So let's go ahead and see how Olive swatches in two coats. Alright, let's go ahead and move right along to pink. Don't worry, there'll be plenty of chit chat. So my pink polish today is a Simple Colors and I really loved this one. I had a hard time choosing between this and my red as my A plush this week actually. And this is Sweet Tooth um, from Simple Colors. It's the sugar crushing um, kind that they came out, this limited edition one that came out on the display that has like the Alice in Wonderland looking girl on it and it has like the pastel mattes and it has some sugar crushing ones on there and this is the pink one it has little I mean it's textured and then it also has gorgeous um, flecks of gold and pink um, bits in there this is so 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 pretty you can definitely wear it as a textured polish or you can just gloss it up it's so gorgeous let's see how it swatches
go ahead and talk about what this lippy is. Where are you? I always lose track of where stuff is in front of me because I tell you I have this big long table that extends like way that way, but it has, I, I need to show this to you guys sometimes, but, or sometime, I will on Snapchat. Um, by the way, all my, um, my social media stuff, couldn't think of it. All my social media stuff is in the description bar below as it always is. You can come hang out with me on Snapchat. I do Insta hauls there all the time and I just do random stuff. If you aren't on Snapchat yet, it's really fun. It's just like an unedited vlog, basically. So, anyway, um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, this area in front of me is so crazy because I have my um, diva ring in front of me, another one over here to the side. I have my tripod here set up for when I want to swatch my live application, which I do right here in front of me. And then I have, um, like, my on-deck polishes here where it's, like, all the stuff that I need to swatch. And then I have my... Um, <laughs> my photo box, my light box right here, and then I have like some extra room over there that I use that my laptop sits on where I edit. Like this whole table is taken up with all of my stuff. It's like, it's like this little room right here which is actually kind of in the entryway of my house. It's my little office, but um, you know, my family just puts up with me because they're awesome. We don't have enough rooms in this house for me to have my own office, but um, it's just kind of crazy how this looks around here. So anyway, I was saying, that I can't ever find anything in front of me because there's too much stuff here. But anyway, my makeup, uh, my lippy today, I was going to tell you what this is. So this, um, when Sue sent me some nail polish that I couldn't get in the state, she also sent me some makeup. So she sent me, um, the lipstick that I'm wearing today is also from Sue, and this is a Makeup Revolution lipstick. And does it have a name? One of the things I noticed about the Makeup Revolution products is a lot of them don't have names on them once you take them out of their boxes. So I can't tell that this has a name, but it's this gorgeous kind of fiery red, and that's what I have on here. I just kind of put it on lightly so I didn't go overboard, because I know sometimes when I put on red lipstick, I can kind of paint outside of the lines sometimes. But anyway, that's what that is. So thank you again, Sue. I am just enamored with the things that you sent me. But anyway, that's what that is there. I'm sorry that I don't have a name for you. It says Lot 15G01. Don't know if that'll help anybody. <laughs> so okay let's move on to orange my orange polish today it's not really orange we're fudging it this is um, another apple colors polish that I picked up from 88 beauty and um, this one is called I'm so peachy and it's definitely like a peachy coral not really too orange but um, yeah I thought this was nice it was decent at two coats I shared another one with you last swatch fest from them that was a green I think this one did have a little bit better opacity than that one, um, but still, I mean, it was only okay. If you want to check out on that website, that's the only place that I have seen these sold anywhere. Um, if you want to check out that brand, it's on 8ty8beauty.com. One of my favorite e-retailers, but you probably already know that if you've been with me for a while. So, um, I put this down, but I didn't even tell you. We're going to go ahead and swatch it right now, obviously. So I noticed, I forget which video it was, but I noticed um, there has been a few comments lately in some videos about my eyebrows and I have been doing basically the same eyebrow routine for probably almost a year now. So if you've watched any of my recent Get Ready With Me's, which I usually only end up doing like one of those a month maybe, but it's the same routine as that. But um, I have had requested that I do a separate video just about or just for an eyebrow tutorial, which um, since this is just a polish channel, I decided not to go ahead and do that. But I did, with the aid of Salem, filming on my phone, film just a real quick tutorial today of how I do my eyebrows every day. So I'm going to go ahead and cut to that right now. Okay, so with the assistance of Salem, 
video taping for me right now, I am going to film my brows for you guys. So I filmed it once actually already and when I was using this little, like a little small compact, it didn't work for me. So the key for me is like being able to look and, at myself in the mirror in the bathroom like how I always do it. Um, because then you can like see how both of them are going and that's really important to be able to see how it's matching up. So um, basically I'm just going to use my e.l.f. small angled brush and my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Caramel. I just choose that shade because I dye my hair red, but you choose whatever shade is good for you. So the nice thing about using a brush is it just kind of helps you get that seamless, um, not lying because you don't want it to really look like a line but for me if I use a pencil it ends up looking too choppy and like too drawn on but if for some reason if I use a brush then I can get it to where it, it's looking um, refined enough but not too like obvious so anyway I, as you saw I did the bottom line then I did the top line and then I'm just going to go in and softly fill in the brow. And thank you again to Salem for being my awesome camera person. So see I'm just softly... And then you just use, you use the brush to your advantage. So you pull it around your arch. Okay. And there you have it, one brow done. I'm gonna go ahead and do the second one off camera. I hope this helps anybody who has been wondering, that's how I do my brows. And yeah, I'll catch you right back. All right, so we're on to yellow. And actually, when I swatched this, I discovered it wasn't really yellow at all. It's actually a kind of a, it's a neutral with it, like a little pinch of camel or mustard in it. Um, but this is called Brain Power and it's from Formula X. This has absolutely gorgeous cream formula. I loved it so much. And I think the only reason I thought it was yellow is because it was separated in my bottle just a little bit. It was on the sale rack at my Sephora inside JCPenney's. And I remember in a comment somebody left before saying, there's a sale rack in the Sephora? I guess in the ones in JCPenney's, I don't know if there is one in the regular Sephora's because there isn't one near me that's not inside of JCPenney's. But yes, there is a sale rack. And lots of times I find nail polish there, um, specifically Formula X and um, Deborah Lippmann. So anyway, I did pick this up there. Let's go ahead and see how it swatches. Okay, so last week I, you know I love movies, right? So last week I didn't really watch that many. I think I had one to talk about with you guys. This week I watched three. So let me tell you about the movies I watched. So first up I watched um, Steve Jobs, which I have to say was an intense movie in a, in a way that I wasn't used to. It was intense for the basis that it was like completely monologue. Like it's no, like there's no really action going on at all at all. All the um, intensity just comes from these dialogues that he's having with these people in his life at different times in his life. And it's just like there's so much going on and he somehow manages to like maintain his composure the whole time while like all this crazy stuff is going on. And I was just kind of sitting, sitting there like going, oh my goodness, just, I don't know. Anyway, so it was a nice insight into his life. I don't know for sure like how much of it is absolutely 100% accurate and how biased the filmmakers were when they made it or whatever, but it was a nice story. Um, and Tim even said it, it really touched his heart at the end. So anyway, we liked it. It's definitely intense though. So, um, and yeah, like without any action, just, just like the people just delivering their lines. It has um, Michael Fassbender in it, of course, really, really good as Steve Jobs. So anyway, there was that. 
And I also watched, okay, so I watched three intense movies this week. I watched Secret in Their Eyes, which is a Julia Roberts movie. And I remember when I saw this um, advertised like six months ago or something, I thought, wow, that is a strange movie for her to be in. In this movie, she plays a cop and her daughter, they tell you really quickly in the beginning, and it's also told in the previews, so I don't think this will spoil it for anybody. Her daughter is murdered and you find out at the very beginning. And the whole movie kind of jumps, like it jumps to current time and then back when the murder happened and like 15 laters and back to when the murder happened, which I have to say was a little bit confusing for me. Um, if I was a little bit like more with it, <laughs> I maybe would have been able to like figure out, uh, like keep things straight a little bit. The only way I was able to really keep things straight is the character who looks totally different from one time to another is Nicole Kidman because her hair is chopped short. That is like the only way I was able to keep the time frame separate. But anyway, this was a t an intense movie. I a really like off base movie for me that Julie Roberts was in, which I bet she really probably kind of liked. Um, actually, I guess um, August in Osage County, she was kind of more just like an everyday kind of woman in that movie as well. Um, I don't know, I'm just thinking of all like the 2000s and 90s movies that Julia Roberts was in. Just very like upbeat romantic comedies kind of movies. Anyway, I also really liked her in August of Osage County, by the way. But this, um, this one had a PG-13 rating. There really wasn't a lot in it that was like um, scary or anything, but the topic is very adult. So I think that's why I had the rating. I don't know, I, I, I think I recommend it if you really, really like Julia Roberts, but the end, I feel like the end was supposed to be like somehow make you feel better at the end, but I just was like, ugh, at the end. So anyway, let me know in the comments if you've watched any of these movies I'm talking about, and if you have watched any recently that you think I definitely need to watch. I always like to hear about that. Okay, third, really quick, I also watched Spotlight. It won Best Picture of the Year this year at the Oscars, so I definitely wanted to check that out. And I have to say, I really, really enjoyed it. Out of the three that I watched this week, I think that one was my favorite. Reason being, I think that I enjoyed the writing a little bit better than the other two um, because it was intense and like fast paced and moving like the other ones, but it wasn't like so much that my adrenaline was like like trying to figure out where I was like in the Steve Jobs one. And the subject matter again is very, very serious, which I think is why it has the rating that it has because you don't like see anything explicit or, you know, there's not really a lot of swearing in the movie, but the subject matter is very um, adult because it's talking about um, it's talking about back in like 2001 um, when the Boston Globe um, did this big report on all these priests that I guess were um, molesting children, and so it was like this big explosion. I remember at the time when that happened and when it was like all over the news. But I guess this is about the team of reporters that really brought that all to light. So I actually really enjoyed it. I thought that it was a really great look at their investigative reporting and just how driven this team of people were to discover the truth. And even though it's about something really sad and even though in the end, I mean, we all know what the outcome is, is that this was brought to light and that, you know, it was discovered that this was happening. It doesn't really have a happy ending because of course they didn't stop this from ever happening. But I did like the way that the movie flowed and just the composition. I enjoyed it. So I thought all the actors did a really great job. So anyway, that's enough talking about movies. I know sometimes I do talk about them a lot, but I really love movies. It's one of the other things that I really, really enjoy. So we're gonna move along. So for my green polish this week, I have an Orly to share with you. This one is called Jealous Much. I have seen it on clearance at Sally's for a while now. And I think I picked it up during the clearance that was where you get the already clearance products again for like another 50% off or something. So this was like $1.50. It's like a light kind of cloudy mint green. This is, this is okay. I mean, it's not like my favorite polish ever. It was a little bit sheer at two coats. So you maybe even want a third, but... You know, it was just okay. I was just at Sally's again yesterday picking up some hair dye. So it is still there. I just saw it. I mean, I'm not saying, of course, it's going to be for sure at yours. But they've had this clearance there for quite a while. So if you love this, the chances are you might be able to find it. So let's see how it swatches.
So speaking of hair dye, yes, it's probably pretty obvious that I redid my hair. I do have these little bits in here that were bleached before that the red stands out. There that is. The, where the red stands out a little bit more, but it's all the same color. So I've talked about this on my Snapchat because I do often have people wondering, um, asking in the comments, um, what the color is that is in my hair. I'm back to just doing it at home again. And it's um, because I have naturally dark brown hair, not as dark as this, but because I do have naturally dark hair, basically the red is just deposited on my hair and it doesn't really turn my hair red. It just kind of gives it like a reddish tint in some lights. It's kind of how I think of it, except the, except the part, of course, that is bleached. Um, you know, that, that turns a little bit more red. But actually, my hair only kind of stays this color for about two and a half weeks, and then it really starts to just go back to my normal brown with just like a tiny hint of red in it. So anyway, um, the box that I use is just the Ion brand that you can get at Sally's, and it's the one that's called Medium Intense Red Blonde. And then I put the Hot Red Intensifier in it. I mix it with the 20 Developer, and voila, I do it by myself at home. I only had one glove yesterday. I don't know how that happened. I put a glove in my cart at Sally's, or gloves, like a pack of 12 gloves, and somehow I made it home without the gloves. So I found one spare one at home. I put it on my swatching hand so that I wouldn't wreck my hand. And so this hand got a little bit dyed, but it's, it's coming off already, but still it's like, it's looking sad. So anyway, if in this week's uh, swatches you see my poor little, um, if you see this hand at all, because this is the hand that does the swatching and live application, you might see the fingernails are a little bit dyed red. Don't worry. Nobody's had any bloody accidents around here. It's just my hair dye. So anyway, that's the color that I use in case you've been wondering. Let's move along to blue. So also this week at Sally's, I found this polish and it is OPI. My car has navigation instead of navigation. And this is from the OPI 2015 Brights collection. I actually did not review that collection. Um, so I was really excited to find this there and pick it up. This is more of a crelly to jelly um, format because it's going to be um, a little bit thin. You can see the visible nail line a little bit, even at two coats and it dries kind of semi-matte. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and see how this swatches. I think I'm just gonna show you two coats, but I think that if I was doing this again, I'd probably try to do three thick, thin coats because it is gonna dry quickly, um, but I think that that would probably give me the look better, but I always try to just show you guys two coats of everything. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I have a super random favorite um, this week to share with you guys. So I, hi. Oh, you're so cute. Oh my goodness, you're cute. Smiley, smiley girl. Hello. Hi. Joy just came to join me. So if you hear any cute sounds, it's all thanks to her. She's sitting by me in her little chair. Are you biting on your fruit toy? Oh, you're so cute. It is impossible not to smile at that face. Uh, what were we talking about? <laughs> I totally lost it. Um, oh yeah, I was telling you about a random favorite. I really enjoy music, obviously. It plays a predominant role on my channel. And I like like current favorites for when I'm in the car, I usually throw on like current favorites. But one of my favorite things lately that I've discovered is um, I used to listen to Pandora music a lot um, in the past because you could put in like a group, like a band that you liked, and then it would build you a playlist off of that band, which I think is really helpful. But I tried out this app that came on my Samsung and it's called Samsung Samsung Milk. And it has like this little dial where you can just like spin it around to the different genres of music. And I randomly landed on this one one day and it's just called Classic Hits. And it is like my favorite thing ever. It's all I listen to right now. So if you have some Samsung Milk music, I think you'll really like it because it's all, 
it's just all like happy classic kits. It's not like not like a happy bubblegum pop kind of way, but just all my, just like upbeat songs. I don't know. For me, it's just it's almost like they tailor made this channel just for me. I just love it. It reminds me of my childhood, listening to music. You know, on your way down to the river to go swimming. Um, when I was a kid, I mean, that's just what it makes me think of. So it's hits from like the like maybe late 50s all the way up to like late 80s, maybe early 90s. So I definitely recommend it. I just pop it in anytime when I'm around the house. I love it a lot. So next we're going to move on to purple and I have another polish here from Hard Candy and this one is called Scam and it's a kind of plummy color with a lot of lustry blue going all through it. This is really, really cool. I liked the effect on the nail quite a bit. Let's go ahead and see how it swatches in two coats. Okay, so I have an unfavorite to talk to you guys about this week. This may be TMI, but you guys are my buds and you're here. Um, my period came back this week big time and it was a major bummer. So my unfavorite of the entire week was that I definitely wouldn't exchange pregnancy for having periods again, but they are like both evils in their own right. I mean, it is for me, pregnancy is awful because you just don't feel like yourself ever. But like having to block out a whole week of your life where you just can't do anything, that's also pretty awful. So anyway, that was my week. If any of you are synced up with me, um, you know, it was a hard week for both of us. That's all I can say. So let's move on to my neutral polish. So neutral this week is a polish again from Simple Colors. And this comes from their carded glitter display. This is another limited edition. And this polish is called Trump Card. And honestly, um, this polish is basically exactly like the Sinful Shine Covet polish that was in the um, Kylie King Kylie collection. It's that very white shimmering polish with some gold um, reflect in it. It's got like gold and silver actually reflex in it. It looks basically the exact same. So if you missed one from the King Kylie and you weren't able to find it, well, you could pick up this one or vice versa. They're just the same, which I thought was kind of silly given that that one had two and then they put out one that was like exactly the same. So anyway, just so you know, um, I do really like this concept, but it is like pretty redundant. So let's take a look at it. Okay, so before we move on to our glitter, I want to um, talk about my another favorite this week, and that is the Dancing with the Stars started again. Okay, I know I'm a really cheesy person. I talk about a lot of cheesy things, but I like Dancing with the Stars. And this season, they have three football players in it, so I thought for sure I would get Tim to watch this season with me. Do you think I got him to watch with me? I snapped some of the stuff that Antonio Brown was doing for his enjoyment but I don't think it was enjoyed um, anyway I think it's really fun the football players pretty typically do a really really good job um, on the show so I'm excited for that I just it's my love it's my precious I love it when Dancing with the Stars is back on TV granted that means the bachelor has to be over but if I had my pick out of the two I would definitely pick Dancing with the Stars for sure did we talk about bachelor last week 
he picked his winner. It was the person I thought he was going to pick the whole time. I'm happy for them. Yay! So, um, yeah, let's move on to glitter. This is a glitter from Spoiled. This is really, really pretty in the bottle. I love the combinations in this glitter. It is called Pet My Peacock, which is kind of inappropriate. Anyway, just saying, um, this has like sapphire blue, um, kind of cobalt blue, silver, and teal glitters in it. All in uniform hex shapes. It's in a clear base. I like the concept of these colors all together. However, on the nail, it doesn't quite like give it to me, you know. It's not like, I don't know, it's just, it ends up being kind of bland. So, um, not really my favorite, although I just imagine these colors going really, really well together in some other kind of concept. Maybe if they had made this a little bit more dense or just given us a little bit more variety so they're not all just like one size hexagonal glitter. I don't know, maybe that would have done it. Or maybe if they weren't metallic, I don't know. I just want what I want. Okay, so time for my A plus polish, but I'm gonna go get my other favorite, hold on. Okay, so this girl is just staring at me. Oh, I know, she just wants to eat my face. That's what she wants to do constantly. She's just staring at me, and I couldn't not pick her up. You gotta turn around and say hi. She's so smiley and sweet. She's about to be six months old. Can you guys believe it? It's been six months since this little nugget joined our family. Oh yeah, and you're so sweet too. So she's going to help me with my A plus polish for the week. Where is it, Joy? There it is. You want to hold it up? Hold up the polish. Um, you can't eat it, sweetie. Okay, mommy's turn. Mommy's turn. So this is another polish um, that was sent to me by my friend Sue. Thank you again, Sue. That's what I've been wearing on my nails in this video. This makes me feel like I'm wearing ruby slippers on my nails. It is so gorgeous. This is from... Um, the brand Catrice, which I also can't really get very easily in the States, and this is their Crushed Crystals line, and it's called Royal Redding. <laughs> Joy, you gotta let go of the hair, girlfriend. Remember how I was telling you guys like a month ago about how I just wear my hair up constantly because this little girl just wants to pull my hair all the time? Well, that's still the case. Yes, it is. I'm surprised I have any hair left. Okay, so this is a texture polish, and it is just absolutely gorgeous. I prefer it with a top coat, which I guess kind of defeats the point of the texturedness, but it just looks so gorgeous and glossy and delightful with the top coat on. And makes me feel like I'm Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz, so I love it so much. Again, thank you, Sue, for sending this to me, and let's go ahead and see how it swatches in two coats. Okay, Joy? Should we check it out? Yeah. Watch fast. Hi. Oh, you're so sweet. Oh, I love you so much. Okay, guys, so it's time to be done. I hope that you enjoyed this watch fest. Thanks for um, tuning in again on Saturday. What are you trying to get? You're trying to get everything. Everything. She now wants to grab my lip gloss. Here, I guess I'll let you hold it. Just don't put it. No. Okay, you can't hold it. Um, thanks for stopping by again today, you guys. I hope you're having a really, really fabulous week. Happy Easter to everybody tomorrow or today if you're watching this on Sunday or yesterday if you're watching this on Monday. I know I have a lot of stragglers coming in on those days, but that's totally cool. Our Swatch Fest can be on whatever day is good for you. 
Um, happy Easter to everybody. I hope you enjoyed celebrating the special day. For us, it's more than just celebrating the Easter Bunny, so it's extra special. And um, yeah, we're going to have a great time, huh? We're going to have a great time. She's going to see all the candy that her siblings are getting, and she's going to just be thinking, when is it my turn, Mom? Not for another couple years, girlfriend. So, anyway, guys, have a really great day. Have a great Easter. Have a great week. I will see you back in a week. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. So, this week we have two OPI collections that are going to be coming up on my channel this week. We're going to be looking at the OPI Soft Shades collection and the OPI Alice Through the Looking Glass collection. I gave you guys a sneak peek on my Snapchat um, yesterday. It might still be there. I forget how long things stay on Snapchat. But anyway, that is a 8 piece 9 if you count the limited edition um, polish that comes in that collection. We're also going to look at, we're finally going to look at the Little On Dine collection that's a water-based peel-off nail polish. It's really, really nice. And the Color Club Pop Chop collection is coming in the mail and Pretty Serious's spring collection. So lots of good stuff. Huh. Yeah, loads of good stuff. So, um, yeah, stay tuned with me, you guys. We have so much good content coming up. And have a great week, and we will see you back very soon. Bye, guys. Joy, say bye. Say bye-bye. Say bye. Mm. Uh-oh. And this is a six-piece collection that is in their Classic Essentials line. Their Classic Essentials is kind of, um, it's kind of like basics, basic colors, but they're never, well, they're usually not just basic creams, at least of all the ones that I've tried. They usually have like a little bit of subtle shimmer in there. So they're giving you basic.